Hello friends, so in this video we are going to discuss that how we can calculate all the primitive root for, for a particular number n. Okay, so uh, in this video we are going to discuss one method which is used to find the primitive root of a number n and that method is called Balian method in which we are there are total five steps. So first of all we will discuss all these five steps and then later on we uh, take one or more example to calculate the primitive root by using this method. So the first step say that we have to calculate the phi of n, phi of n is Euler Tuition function. So we already know that how we calculate this function and after that we take all the k divisor of the number of this number phi n up to phi n by 2 and that divisor are represented as n1, n2 up to nk which is equals to phi n by 2. So suppose uh, if, if we have to find the primitive root for n equals to 15 here, okay, if n is equals to 15 then we can uh, use this Balin method to find all the primitive root of phi n. So the first step is that is we, step 1 is that we have to compute phi of n. So this means that phi of 15, so there are different methods uh, through which we can uh, find the primitive root for this number. Uh, the first number is the 15 having a factor is 3 into 5 and these 3 and 5 are the, uh, both are prime numbers so we can directly calculate it as phi of 3 into phi of 5 which is equals to the, if 3 is a prime number so we can write it as 3 minus 1 into 5 minus 1 then this will become 2 and this will become 4 and therefore it is equals to 8. So phi of 15 is equals to 8 okay now now in the first step itself after computing the phi of n, now we have to find all the k divisor of this number 8, okay. And k divisor means, means all the number 1 to 8 uh, which are uh, having a common factor between the, that number and 8 up to phi n by 2. Means phi n by 2 means, phi n by 2 means that is 8 by 2 that is 4. Means from number 1 to up to 4, what number are the we can choose that have a common factor with this number 8. They, then that divisor can be represented as n1, n2 up to n of k which is equals to phi n by 2. So uh, except 1, 2 and 8 having a common divisor, yes. So we can represent it 2 as n1 here. Then the next number after 2, the next number is 3. So 3 and 8 having a common divisor, no. So we leave it. Now the number 4 have and 8 having a common divisor, yes. So next number n2 is equals to 4. Now we have see here we have to find the k divisor up to phi n by 2 and phi n by 2 is 4 here. So we can directly check from number 1 to number 4 it only. So this means that according to the step 1 first we calculate the phi of n that is phi of 15 equals to 8 and then later on we find the all the divisors k divisors in through up to n phi n by 2 which having a common factor with the phi of n so this becomes n1 equals to 2 and n2 equals to 4 here okay now see in the step 2 step 2 say that we have to select only those element of zn which have no common divisor with the number n only this means step 2 means that we have to select only those elements only those element of zn zn n is 15 here so this means we have to select only those element of z15 which have no common divisor which have no common uh, divisor with the number 15 with the number n, n is 15 here. So and after the selection of those element we will create a set S1 and put all those element in the S1 here. Okay. So this means we have to check from number 1, we have to check from number 1 up to number 15, select only those element of Z15 which have no common divisor with 15 and this will create a set is called S1. So we can start with 1 is an exceptional case so we start with 2 so 2 and 15 have a common divisor no so 2 will come in the set S1 then 3 the number 3 and 15 are common divisor yes so leave it then 4 and 15 no common divisor so we will uh, put it in uh, 
this set S1, then 5 having a common divisor, yes, 6 having a common divisor with 15, yes, 7, 7 having a common divisor with 15, no, so we will put it in set S1, then 8, yes, then 9 having a common divisor, so leave it, 10 having a common divisor with 15, yes, so leave it, then it, 11, then 13 and then 14. So according to the step 2, we will select only those element of Z15 which having a no common divisor with this number 15 and we will put it those all the elements in the set S1. So this is according to the step 2. Now the step 3 says that now we have to compute B to the power N of K. So according to this question, what is N of K here? K is 2 only because we have only this is N of K, na? yes. See, N1, N2 up to NK. So, K is having a 2 value. So, we have to compute now B, B to the power N of K mod N for all B, for all the element of B of set S1. And then we have to select only those element of S1 which for which B to the power N of K mod N is not equal to 1 and put those ele selected element in a new set that is S2. So, how it will work? See, uh, means in the third step, I have to compute b to the power n of k mod n. Okay. So, n of k means, what is n of k? n of k is 2, that is n to the power, n of 2 is 4 here. So, this means that I have to calculate b to the power 4 mod n, okay, for all b which belong to the set S1. So, what is a set S1? See here, in the set S1, the, there are elements are 2, 4, 7, 8, 11, 13 and 14. So, we have to compute all the values of B according to this formula, you can say. That is, first, when I put or we, when I choose 2 from set S1, so this means uh, B equals to 2. So, this will create 2 to the power 4 mod 15. So, 2 to the power 4 mod 15 is equal to 1. Then, the next value of S1 is 4. So, we calculate 4 to the power 4 mod 15 is equal to, again it is equal to 1. Then, the next value of S1 is 7. So, it will become 7 to the power 4 mod 15 and then after we calculate 7 to the power 4 mod 15, then it comes out to be 1 here again. Then, the next element of S1 is 8. So, we can compute 8 to the power 4 mod 15, again it is equal to 1. The next element of S1 is 11. So, we have to compute 11 to the power 4 mod 15, again it is 1. The next element is uh, 13. So, we will calculate 3 to the power 4 mod 15, again it is 1 here. And the last element of S1 is 14. So, 14 to the power 4 mod 15 and then it again it comes out to be 1. Now, the 50% of the step 3 we have already calculated. See, we have to compute B to the power N of K. Now, we have to select only those element of S1 for which B to the power N of K mod N is not equal to 1. But in this particular example, all the elements of S1 for which we have calculated B to the power N of K mod N. After the calculation, all the values will come equal to 1. This means that the new set S2 that the new set S2 will contain, write it as that b to the power 4 mod 15 is equal to 1 for all b, for all the value of b which belong to S1. So, the, S, the new set S2 will contain a value phi and as a result, and as a result n equals to 15 has no primitive root, has no primitive root, okay. So, this is uh, this is how we can calculate or we can use Balian method to calculate the, all the primitive root of a particular number n. So, if you have any doubt then you can ask in our comment section and in my next video I am going to take one more example for n equals to 25 and use this Balian method to calculate all the primitive root of that number 25. So keep watching our video. Thank you so much.